Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly hairy Scotsman here yet again. Well, today I'm going to do some baking. This could be interesting, because I've never actually made this yet. So, I'm going to be making, I have some rather dark bananas. Apparently this is the stage you take them to, which is great, because I've got them there. Uh, so there's three of them. Um, I've got my recipe down here, that's what I'm glancing at. There's plain flour, sugar, butter, baking soda, or powder or whatever, some salt, uh, vanilla extract, bananas, eggs and cinnamon. It sounds quite easy. Famous last words. So, I've got everything kind of round about me at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Put the camera down here to my boards and everything like that. Let's get you down there a wee bit. Put that up there so I can actually see what I'm doing, even though it is now upside down. Right, so let's just give that a wee rip there. As you can see, it looks rather well done. Very right, it smells great, I have to be honest. Pop that in there. Nick that wee end off like that. I'm going to take that wee bit out there because that's maybe a wee bit too well done. There we go, that's in there. Next one. Looks fine. Pop them in there like that. End off, that's fine. One more. Getting close, here we go. Let's just nick that wee bit out. Nick that wee end off. And plunk that in there. Now we'll get shot of these into my recycle thing. Like that. Give my hands a little wipe because that's kind of gunky. Bring that around there. I'll zoom in a wee bit for you so you can see what I'm doing here. That's okay. Now, squidge them up, mash them all together. You're supposed to do it until they go quite, uh, quite juicy. I don't think I'm really going to have that kind of problem today. It's looking like it's already going away like that. Here we go. Ah. Looks like baby food. I suppose in a way it kind of is. Beating this up with a fork, like so. I think that mean whatever that brown bit is. Like that, get that out. One more wee bit to go. Like so. Really doesn't take long to mash three bananas up. Like that. I've got a wee fly here and it just will not go. So, get that wee bit out there as well. That's maybe a wee bit too brown. And that's the kind of consistency we're looking for. I'm going to get that fly. Right. That's kind of what we're looking for there. Nice and gloopy. Let's get a shot of that. And another wee wipe. Like that. Now, I need 300 grams of plain flour. 
plain flour. I'm going to take you a wee bit wider again to see this bit because this is where my scales are. They're here. Put that over there just now. So you can see the scales. So I can get in here. Ooh, stun deflight, got it. Grab this. No, 300 grams is. Where is it? Yeah, ooh, it's not a lot when you look at it. Or maybe it is. of it. I've had these scales for years and this is the first time I've actually used them. 200, another one in a bit. There we go, 300 grams, just like that. That back up again. Yeah. Like that just now. Easy as. So break that up a bit. Now I could sieve it all, but you know what? Life's too short. So get that. Tip it in like so. Now, 200 grams of general just ordinary sugar. So, here's the 200 in there. There we go, 200 grams of sugar. Just like that. Pour that in. Like that. I'm going to give it a wee mix. Just to get it going. Now I could do it in the mixer, but this means more washing up. This is pretty much a one bowl thing for me at the moment. Although it looks very, very dry. There's not a lot of uh, liquid goes in this. Here we go, it's starting to come together. But there we are, it's starting to come up. Like this. Once the eggs go in it as well, that'll help. I would hope. Yeah, because that's a bit claggy at the moment. So, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. I've got baking powder, it's the same stuff pretty much. One and a half. One. And a half. Salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. There we go, some salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I don't know why I have that salt in it these days. Probably just to give it a bit more flavour, but. Who knows? Put that back in there. Uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
which I have there. Madagascan vanilla extract at that. That's one teaspoon of this. Ooh, that's gloopy. I'll give that a wee stir around with that. I'm not wasting it. No, the price this stuff is. Uh, two eggs. Large, free range eggs. One. And two. Just like that. Has another white, it's got a lot of egg white in them, on them, whatever. Put that back in the fridge, out of the road. I know some folk will say, oh you don't keep uh, eggs in the fridge. I do. Let's give that a wee scrape. Break up the yolks. Like that. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I quite like so oh, that's maybe slightly more than half a teaspoon, but I'm not bother bothering about that. It's got another fly there, I don't know where they're all coming from. And don't say a mummy fly and a daddy fly. Get a scrape off with that. I don't like waste. over there. So let's get this moving. I'm going to chop it into it so it kind of gets covered nicely and all well mixed together. That's better. Look how much more juicy and moist that's getting now. Now some folk do this with a big glug of oil in it. I'm not fond of putting oil in everything. Alright, I'm going to get in with a spoon. So we can actually hook into the bottom a bit better. That's where all the flour seems to have disappeared to. It's kind of got the consistency of porridge. But it smells amazing. Right, now let that sit there a second and I'm going to put the oven on. Oven is that one. That goes in for 40 minutes. I plunk that over there and I have my tin there. I'm going to put bacon, powder, bacon paper in it. Um, just to make sure it doesn't stick. So, I should probably be using a pair of scissors, but my knife will do just the same. Put that in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is very lucky for me. 
I'll just tore it there as well. Now let's see if this will go in here. It says to use a loaf tin. It's heavy. Now I'm not like some of these chefs that leave half it in the bowl. I don't know about you guys, but it really winds me up when they do that. And I try to be tidy when I'm doing it as well, unlike them who put most of it on the worktop or on the floor. Or on themselves. Okay, that's just about there. Let's get that wee scrape off the spoon so we get some full works out of it. There we are. Get a sugar like that. And that's that together. So, it goes in at gas mark 4, 177 centigrade or 350 farinjigals or whatever they are that very few people actually use nowadays. Um, so, 50 minutes time will be 25 to... Right. I will pop this in the oven and uh, we'll be ready to go. Just crank it up there. So, just about to pop it in the oven. Um, this is the point I say if you haven't already subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do. I enjoy doing wee cookie things as well, rather than just sort of food reviews and whatever. Um, all those who have subscribed, thank you so much. It is really helping me out a lot there on the channel. Um, if you just want to watch a playlist to get my, t my watch hours up, thank you, if you would, and all that. Um, leave a like, leave a dislike if you don't like it, it all helps the channel. Leave a message, I'll get back to you. So, I'm going to pop this into the oven, let's just pop that down there like that. And I'll point you at the oven, which might actually help. Like that. Just crank that open. Ah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on a tray so it's easier to get out when I decide to take it out. And hopefully that will fit in there. So. 50 minutes. Oops. Yeah. Let's get that back up here so I can actually see you guys or you can see me even. So, yeah, 50 minutes time. I'll be back. Um, we'll get it out. I'll try and find my trivet. Don't know where it is, but we'll get it cooled down anyway. So, back in a bit. Guess what numpty? Forgot to put in butter. So I've grabbed it out of the oven. Literally it was in just over a minute. And I looked and I went, there's something missing in this. Yes, it's the butter. Now it's 114 grams. This is 250 grams. So if I... 100, half of it's 125, if I go just slightly on the other side of it, there we go, one chunk of butter, which I'm going to chop up into bits, so hopefully it'll mix in, ah, oh. I'll just say I've had quite a stressful few weeks of it, so we'll leave it at that. So I'll bring his down, let you see me chopping up the butter. 
Yeah, zoom in a wee touch. There we go. Ah. Now, I don't know if I was supposed to melt it or what, but it'll melt how it's going in. Because it's quite warm in there. And that's been out for a wee while, so it's not overly firm. How do I forget to put something in? I've got the recipe in front of me. Plonk all that in. Give it a good wee mix round. I know I'm probably doing this totally wrong. It is starting to melt a wee bit going in. Oh. Now you can put nuts in this if you want, walnuts, pecans, all that sort of thing, but I don't want to, I just want to do a banana bread. If I do this I'll squeeze it all together, it will all mix in nicely. Well that's the plan. I told you, I'm no baker. I mean, I'd never make the British Bake Off or anything like that. And if I did, I'd be the first one off, probably. <sighs> Still smells amazing, by the way. That's all coming together just nicely. It's all melting in there. Right, another bit of part, uh, baking paper. Take two. That's, uh, that's cooled down a few bit because I almost burnt my fingers lifting it out earlier. Hopefully, this one won't all tear. Okay, banana bread part two. I'm probably supposed to melt it and put it in first, but we'll see what it's like. I honestly didn't expect it to be back as quick as that. When I was a joiner, I was always told, measure twice, cut once. I suppose it's like bacon. Do it, check it twice, just to make sure. So, get a wee, a wee dump like that. And you've seen it going in already, so... I'll be back in a bit to see you taking it out, see me taking it out, hopefully, correctly. Okay then, that's 50 minutes up. I am now going to take my banana loaf out of the oven. Take two. Ooh, hot heat, hot heat. Oh, 
bounced. Oh my god. That. Before I burn myself, I will let you see what it looks like. That looks absolutely stunning. That's getting a bit hot. Right, I'm now going to let that cool because at the moment that will burn my mouth off if I eat any. So back in a sec. Right, banana bread is out. It is still red hot, but I'm going to take it out and leave it sitting on the trivet just now. So I'll pop you down there to have a wee peek. Going a wee bit tighter on it. Now please excuse the state of the trivet, but it has been used. Ooh. That is actually still quite toasty hot. Pop that in the sink, out the road. Wow. That is looking absolutely. Wait a minute. Hell's hard to bring you back up, doesn't it? So we'll go wide again. Bring you up again so you can see my ugly mug, which is going to be hidden in a second by. Oh, yeah. Boy, that is roasty hot. Keep it on the trivet, make life easier for myself. There we go. That is absolutely looking stunning. But it is actually red hot. Find a wee bit. Mmm. Oh, jings, that's... I just found a wee bit that sort of flaked off at the side here, like a wee crumb. Oh, that's good. I cannot wait to actually bite into this. So that's off the paper. That should cool down a bit. And when it's cooled enough to actually eat, because it is still red hot there, I will come back and uh, cut a bit off and try it for you. Back in a wee bit again. And I'm back. Right, my banana loaf, banana bread, has cooled down enough so I can actually do something with it. So what I'm going to do, I'll pop you down there. Like this. We'll zoom it in a wee bit for you there. Now, listen to that. And underneath. Nice and solid. So, I'm going to cut a chunk off here. Virtually perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop you back up here a bit so you can see my reaction when I take a bite. So, let's turn you a wee bit there, there you go. Right, here we go. That works. Mm. It's a very heavy cake. Weight wise, I mean. But when you eat it, mm. 
it almost falls apart. The outside has got quite a crispy edge in it. The inside is soft and moist, it's lovely. What I fancy doing putting a bit of butter on it. Let's see what it tastes like with butter on it. Now, I have no idea if you're supposed to do it this way. But there we go. Spreading the butter on. Like that. Mmm. That is even better. You can see there, it's like the crispy edge and the soft inside. Mmm. That is so good. You can see the moist bits of the banana in there and everything. All of it cracked down the top. I tell you something, for a first attempt, I am hyper impressed at that. I am so pleased that it's worked that way. So I'm going to finish just now, I'm going to go and finish that. Um, if you've lasted this long, thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to see me do more uh, baking and cooking and stuff like that, just let me know down below um, and we'll see what we can do. So, take care of yourselves everyone. Hopefully I'll speak to you all again very, very soon. Either eating something, cooking something or taking you somewhere. Take care. See ya.